Hey, how we doing? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And Bungie has been on a warpath lately, suing anyone and everyone who has been providing cheats for their game of Destiny 2. Now, me personally, I believe that if you cheat in online video games, your mama ho, that's simple. You cheat in single player games, couldn't really give a fuck unless, you know, you're going for like a world record speed run or some shit. Then I think you're disqualified. But when it comes to online games, especially like online shooters like Destiny 2 or Call of Duty or whatever, if you're cheating such as using wall hacks or aimbots, yeah, your mama ho. But now Bungie, they've been going hard on cracking down on, the, on these types of cheat providers. And I do think that is a good thing because it's starting to get a lot of these other developers to do the same. Now, while I don't necessarily have a lot of respect for some of these uh, publishers, I don't like cheat providers as well. So Bungie's lawsuit against Destiny 2, De Destiny 2 cheat seller results in a $12 million payout. Now that is a, you know, that seems like a quite a lot of money for this whole situation, but I think that's to send a message to, hey, stop providing cheats. So Bungie's 2021 lawsuit against Destiny 2 cheat seller Veteran Cheats has resulted in over $12 million payout for the company in damages. So Destiny 2 developer Bungie has been cracking down hard on cheaters within their game, within several lawsuits filed and new rules being implemented against third-party tools in Destiny. Bungie is ensuring that players will have a safe time whilst enjoying their game. Hmm. Lol. Uh, many of these lawsuits have been filed against creators of various cheats, often resulting in long-standing legal disputes. Uh, Bungie filed one such lawsuit against Destiny 2, Destiny 2 cheat seller Veteran Cheats back in 2021 with the individual... Gosh, I can't pronounce that. Uh, being believed the founder of the cheat vendor, he has he or she was believed to be creating various cheats for the online looter shooter, including tools similar to aimbot and wall hacks, which detrimentally affected the fairness of the game. Absolutely. And I believe in some of these other cases, they've been going after people that have been creating things like unlock tools. So, you know, you can unlock a whole bunch of cosmetics, which is costing them money. So yeah, there's damages in that as well. But this one is specifically in regards to wall hacks and that type of shit. So recently in February of 2023, Destiny developers requested a roughly $12 million in reparations for the damages caused by that cheat provider. Now the court has granted this request, requiring the cheat seller to pay that sum. And ooh, that's going to hit them pretty hard. So alongside this, the court ordered permanent restrictions on the cheat provider's ability to engage in any form of content that would breach Bungie's copyright hopefully putting a permanent end to the cheat developer's antics. So it appears that nothing will stop Bungie's warpath against cheaters as they continually look to keep Destiny 2 free from those pesky hackers. Now, like I said, I'm actually all for this. I don't have a lot of respect for a whole lot of these publishers out there, but cheating in online video games is straight up trash and it just ruins the experience and fun for anyone trying to play these games. You know, you want to boot up Grand Theft Auto story mode and put all your cheat codes in and just have a rampage on that. Go for gold. That shit's fun as fuck. But doing it when online and you're affecting other people's fun, then there's a problem. And then, of course, there's all the stuff that's going down with Warzone and Apex tournaments and a lot of big streamers are cheating and scamming their audience out of their money. It's it's quite the rabbit hole. But anyway, you tell me how you feel about this. Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.